Well, just because the correlation between exposure to violent media and aggression is 0.31, where more exposure to violent media was associated with more aggression, as one factor increases, so does the other, it does not mean that one factor is actually causing the other. It does not mean that exposure to violent media causes people to be aggressive. It could be that the aggressive children are exposed to more violent media, and this in turn leads them to be more aggressive. So in order to determine whether violent media actually causes people to be aggressive, we need to develop an experimental design and conduct a controlled experiment to directly examine the variables that affect aggression. What you'll need is two groups of people. You treat them exactly the same, except for the variable that you're interested in. For example, exposure to violence on TV. Here's one way to experimentally investigate this. Wendy Josephson conducted a study in 1987 where she examined whether watching a violent TV program affected the way children played with one another. In her study, Josephson invited a bunch of seven and eight-year-old boys into the lab and got them to watch a 14-minute TV program. She told them that they'll get to play a game of hockey, but first, she had a TV program to show them. For half the boys, the TV program they watched showed a lot of violence. The violent program was a police action drama and started out with a sniper shooting a police officer. After that, the police officer's partner signed up for a special weapons and tactics or SWAT unit. Then all the police officers came together and attacked the bad guys. In the end, the SWAT team killed all the bad guys. For the other half of the children, they watched a 14 minute TV program. The program they watched was also kind of exciting and buzzy, but it did not show violence. It was about motocross bike racing, which was kind of big in the 80s. It showed a number of exciting bike stunts and action. Now, after watching the TV program, the children played a game of hockey. For those of you who have watched or played hockey, you would know that there's enormous potential for violence in hockey. So the children in the study were given hockey sticks and a ball, and they were unleashed to participate in this competitive game. The experimenters observed the children behind a one-way mirror and recorded the number of times the children behaved violently. For example, when they pushed another player, elbowed another player or hit another player with a hockey stick or started a fight and so on. So what do you think Josephson found?